let's talk about last night's episode of Once Upon a Time, you guys. You know that I am a Captain Swan shipper, and I just feel like we got a lot of good signs for Captain Swan last night. I was very, very excited. I am wearing my favorite Buffy the Vampire Slayer t-shirt, so let's get to it. Yes, I was excited to see Ariel in this show, but most of all, I was excited to see what was gonna happen between Hook and Emma, and to find out if last week's kiss was just going to be a one-time thing. I feel like there were a lot of hints dropped last night um, that to me say that Captain Swan is here to stay. So the first thing right off the bat, I was super excited that Hook just came out and was honest. So he comes out of the woods, he goes to Mary Margaret and David and tells them that he saw Pan and he tells them that Pan told him that Neil was still alive. At first you're thinking they're not going to tell her, but I was just really excited that they did not drag it out. Mary Margaret is finally the one who's like, look, we need to tell her. We don't know if it's true or not, but she still needs to know. Now Regina doesn't care about Neil or the fact that he might be alive. She is there to find Henry and so she wants to kind of stay focused on that and before long the group ends up splitting. Eventually she ends up finding Mr. Gold which I thought was really interesting because as Regina points out in this episode the two of them her and Mr. Gold are two of the most powerful magical people ever and so you know together the two of them should be able to rescue Henry. Just for a moment let's be deep and psychological you guys. Um, when Regina finds Mr. Gold she finds him talking to Belle. We know it's not really Belle you know we know this is just a figment of his imagination but Regina shows him it's actually Peter Pan tormenting Mr. Gold and really kind of planting all of these seeds of doubt inside of him. I feel like so far this season we've really gotten that the whole Neverland thing is about forgiveness or bitterness. So all of our fantastic characters from Storybrooke have had all of these crazy things happen in their lives and relationships. Peter Pan of course is kind of sowing the seeds of dissension and bitterness and we see that in so many of the characters. We get that Mr. Gold hasn't forgiven his father and obviously his son Bay hasn't forgiven him. We, we get that Emma is still struggling to forgive her parents at the same time that Henry is struggling to forgive her and to forgive Regina. And I could go on and on you guys. Neverland is all about that, about kind of letting go of the past, of forgiving and moving on. And I love that. I really hope that that means once they leave Neverland, they kind of leave some of those kind of old wounds behind. It really seems like next week we are going back to Storybrooke and I'm very, very excited. So let's talk about Ariel really quick. We get this flashback to the Enchanted Forest. We see the whole Ariel story play out as she meets Snow and she meets Regina who's pretending to be Ursula because she's trying to get what she wants. I liked the Ariel storyline. I feel like they've done a really good job this season of taking these characters that we all have known and loved for years and incorporating them into the show. We see more of Ariel in the end and we don't really get kind of a resolution to her story but it looks like Ariel's going back to Storybrooke and Eric is there so I'm really excited to kind of see the resolution of that story. Okay let's talk about Captain Swan you guys. So there was this interesting moment where Mary Margaret, David, Emma, and Hook find this cave and they figure out that this is where Neil is at. It's called the Echo Cave and basically Hook explains to them that when you go into the cave to get what you want, you have to give up your secrets. Right off the bat, as soon as he said that, I was like, boy, this is gonna be interesting. So they go into the cave, right? They find Neil's cage, but there's this huge chasm between them. So one by one, they start spilling their secrets. So Mary Margaret's secret is that, yes, they found Emma, they found their long lost daughter, but that basically as a mother, she missed out on her entire childhood and she wants to experience that. So she tells David that she wants to have another baby. Now David's secret, of course, throws a wrench into Mary Margaret's plans because as we know he can't leave Neverland and he finally tells her that tells her about the whole dream shade thing and she was kind of pissed and it was kind of cute I loved that let's talk about Hook's secret you guys because it was so fantastic he admits that he kissed Emma but his real secret is that he didn't think that he was ever going to be able to love again so after Rumpelstiltskin killed his love Hook thought that was it. He didn't think he was ever going to be able to love again until he kissed Emma. And so he kind of sees the possibilities. Oh yay, it was so fantastic. I loved that moment. So as they're telling their secrets, this pathway is starting to build, you know, between them and Neil. And so Emma crosses it. She finds Neil, but he's still in the cage. And the only way for him to get out is for her to tell her secret. And her secret was that, you know, she told Neil, like, I, I love you. Like, I probably will always love you. But when she heard that it was possible that he was still alive, her secret 
was that she was hoping it wasn't true so that she didn't have to kind of deal with the pain anymore. So in that conversation, you kind of got for Emma that she's really not sure that she wants to be in love with him now that he is here. And I was very excited about that because you guys know that I don't really feel all that much kind of anything between Neil and Emma. Now Neil though is not giving up. So he was kind of like, look, I'm still gonna fight for you. Whatever, we don't care, Neil. I was just excited about it, you guys, because I feel like this episode really opened the door for Hook and Emma to be more than just kind of like a passing little fancy. If you think about it, this woman's parents are like the ultimate love story. And so I would love to see Hook and Emma become that. I really, really would. So I have got my fingers crossed that the Hook and Emma thing is gonna happen and that they're gonna do it well. I know I've only briefly talked about the Ariel storyline because I was so excited about Hook and Emma, um, but I really did enjoy it. I loved all the little kind of hints and nods they gave to the, to the cartoon. That was really awesome. And I'm really excited that we're gonna get to see more of Ariel and Tinkerbell, I'm sure, as we go into next week. Would love to hear what you guys thought about this episode. Make sure you leave your comments down below, unless you're gonna say bad things about Hook and Emma. If, if that's the case, then don't comment. Just kidding. If you don't like Hook and Emma, you leave your comment down below and I will tell you why you're wrong. Okay guys, as always, thanks so much for watching. Bye.